currently in the process of the very fun part of going through all of my expenses of the concert and seeing where and how much I spent money. Doing it in a way that I can like really, really see. I have it denoted as like, oh, is this branding? Is this a meal? Is this a rehearsal space? So I could see what I spent on everything. Dude, it's funny. I'm like post-concert. I'm like, where do I even begin? What do I do? <laughs> What's the next step, man? That's, that's been like my prayer for this week is like, okay, I'm really, really happy with the concert, but what's next? What do we, what, what do I do next? Like, how do I pay off the concert? How do I, where, like, what do I do? Do I start the documentary process? Do I go back to doing reactions to make more money? Do I really try to really increase the vlog, vlog quality? And, you know, like, what's the, what's the next step? I don't know. And that's the prayer for this week. That's what I'm asking God to show me. I'm like, what do I do now? <laughs> Even to some degree with all the footage that I have from the concert, like, what do I do with it? How much do I show of the concert? Because people paid tickets. People paid for tickets. So like, I can't just post the concert for free. What do I show? What do I not show? How do I promote the concert after the fact? Cause you can still watch it after the, so many questions, man. That's my prayer for this week. All right, you know what I can start out with? I'm going to start out with the people that did buy tickets in person and online. I'm going to resend out the link to the live stream because the people that were in person didn't get to see the live stream. So I want them to see how high quality it is. So that being said, I'm going to, I'm going to start by getting that link, starting that email and starting to send that out. And then we'll take it from there. Wow, this is crazy. I went from live streaming like several times every single day where this October 7th show was the first live stream I did since August 26th. That's crazy. What? Are you ready to go for a walk? Are you ready to go for a walk? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, you ready to go for a walk, buddy? You know what I realized? It's kind of funny for me to be walking bullet, which I did twice today, actually, earlier this morning. And then also, <laughs> just now, it's funny for me to be wearing his face while I walk and I'm like, this looks kind of funny. I am now on my way into Northport Village. Um, I have so much video to edit. I do really well with editing when I lock myself away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the coffee shop, sit there for like two, two and a half, three hours, get as much done as I can, come back and kind of re recoup from there. I kind of have a schedule and idea of what I want to do with the YouTube channel in the sense of like how I want to move forward in the sense of what kind of content I want to post and how I want to post it and when I want to post it. And then I have a vocal lesson, which I'm looking forward to because I really, a really Really, really looking forward to hearing what my vocal coach has to say about the show. She was at the show, which was really, really cool. It meant a lot that she drove in from Brooklyn to see the show. So it's funny, I get down into Northport, get my coffee, get all set, and get like kind of just into the flow of editing. And it turns out that the coffee shop has to close because the replacement shift guy isn't there on time and they just need to close for a couple, I don't even know how long, but <laughs> alas, here we are, on to the next place. All right, now I guess we're just gonna head back home, but since we're heading home, we gotta stop at CVS. I've been using Jamie's deodorant for a couple <laughs> for probably the past week and a half because mine ran out and I just haven't gone to CVS to get new deodorant. Ironically, when I came here last week, or two weeks ago, this is actually where I got my debit card <laughs> information stolen. I put it in for the, the ATM here, and there was a skimmer on it. Ironic. So the one that I've been using for years is actually not a deodorant, it's a salt stick. It's phenomenal, it's like literally a stick of salt, and it like takes away, it doesn't, it doesn't prevent you from sweating, it just takes away the, s the smell of sweat. Alas, here we are, back outside. <laughs> Back home, outside, working on the vlog. So you wanna see the reality of a life of a full-time working musician, content creator, whatever you wanna describe it? This, this right here. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Jamie and I had a bunch of friends over last night, all made all this food and everything. Uh, they made that homemade lasagna, it was phenomenal, actually. Shout out to Devin and his wife who made this phenomenal homemade lasagna. <laughs> But <laughs> Jamie works today, so that means I'm stuck with the dishes. <laughs> Come on, bullet. Up. Bullet. Nothing. 
not only is the algorithm pushing new viewers high, so let's break it down. In just a minute, we're the Dollar Tree. Good old Dollar Tree, which in fact, at this point in life, is a lie. A lie to the American people. It is no longer the Dollar Tree. It is the Dollar 25 Tree. All right, well, that was totally a waste of my time because I'm positive in the past they've had drier things. <laughs> it's funny, I've washed a thousand dishes at my house without one. And I'm like, I'm just, with all those dishes, I'm just like sick. I'm like, I'm sick of it. I'm like, I, wa <laughs> I want a drier thing and they don't have it. So the question is, is it worth driving another 10 minutes down the road to the next one for them to potentially not have it as well? I don't know. I don't know. It's funny. I've gone so long in life without it, but like, I just felt like with all the dishes tonight, I was like, I, I feel like I need it. But in reality, I'm just cu I'm curious psycho psychologically if I'm just procrastinating washing the dishes. 